morning everybody here we go Tuesday big day class today again we're getting closer and closer to the end of the summer already and I still just feel like we're just getting started unbelievable how fast this moves but having lots of fun in fluids so a quick history lesson a couple of years ago I became a professor full-time and about that time I started writing a blog at TonyFerrar.com. And for a long time that was it. I was just sharing thoughts, ideas, and slowly but surely the following there grew and it started to become something bigger. And at some point, I guess it would be spring the first year I was teaching, we transitioned to start calling it the Intentional Academy. And it's this idea that I have and still working on for a place to help students with things like time and money and getting their careers going. And so then I started making YouTube and Facebook and all these other accounts to try and share the message. But as all this grew, I wasn't very careful about how I created the accounts. And so I had a YouTube channel called Tony Farrar that was actually the Intentional Academy's email address, and then I had an Intentional Academy YouTube channel that was actually just my personal email address. I had TonyFerrar.com, but it's called the Intentional Academy, still is if you go there. Uh, and then I bought the IntentionalAcademy.com and put something else there. And so, it's just one of these things where, you know, as you learn how platforms work, you realize how you should set them up compared to <laughs> how I did set them up, and there's a big difference. Long story short, massive kudos to my amazing wife Nicole my partner and everything who worked with me yesterday to untangle this stuff there is now one channel on YouTube for the Intentional Academy and one channel on YouTube for Tony Ferrar that would be me so go check them both out there we'll continue to unmuddle things and clarify the message both are exciting projects for me. Both are things that seem to be growing quickly, which is very exciting. And so I'm kind of in a new phase right now of trying to figure out how to scale things up sustainably. Which, by the way, is why I've slowed down on some of my other platforms lately. You might be missing me on Instagram and Twitter and Facebook. Don't worry, I'll be back. It's just that when I learn a new thing like the Snap Stories, uh, I want to make sure that I put the time in to figure out how to do it well and how to integrate it with the rest of what I'm up to. And so once this is working well, I'll start adding the other things back in. kind of like to grow slowly in that respect to make sure that I don't overcommit myself and make too big of a project on a daily basis. Let's see, what else? Oh, the, uh, the class. That continues to be dramatic. And uh, I'm getting closer and closer to finalizing things there and I can't wait to tell you the story about it but kind of like I shared last week it's hard because there's some people that need to know some things before I can put it on here and so once I get a chance to meet with them and you know really finish cleaning things up here uh, I'll tell you the full story get excited I think and I'm also kicking around the idea of a book club. There's two books that are really important to me. One's called Naked Economics and the other is called Lynchpin. One's about how the world works and the other is about finding your place in it. And I think I want to do a summer book club where maybe we read these and figure out a way to discuss. If you're interested in that, hit me up. On Thursday, I left my work ID badge along with a stack of train tickets worth about 50 bucks sitting on the train platform. After a minor freak out, uh, I got an email from a complete stranger who had found them and uh, they arranged to leave them uh, at the security desk in a building on campus I've never been to. So, a little micro adventure to start my day. I'm headed over to Annenberg Hall, wherever that is, and hopefully going to find an envelope with my stuff in it. Quick note to self, pedestrians have the right-of-way in a crosswalk, but just because you have the right-of-way doesn't mean you shouldn't stop and wave. You just walked through somebody's life, at least thank them for taking a pause. It doesn't take much to be nice to each other, but it sure makes a difference in this world. So smile and wave. So cool. Thank you so much. This is a huge help.
went to uh, the machine shop and they gave me some space to store some stuff so that I can continue this project. So you're good to go now. You've got space, you got a cart or something like it, and a place to work? Yeah. Yay! Well, after a relatively uneventful morning of class prep grading, really nice lunch with some colleagues, now it's time for class. I'm heading on down. Three hours of fluids, here we go. Whatever happened to elevator music anyway? Fun class, lots of math, and now it's quitting time. Good evening. Just want to let you know I'll be hanging out with Justin and Nicole tonight at uh, 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Time. I'll be live streaming from uh, my Instagram account, but also from facebook.com slash intentional academy. That's another project I'm working on, the intentional academy. And uh, yeah, we're going to be talking tonight about the future of it, what it's going to be, what it's going to do, how we're all going to help out and, and play a role in it. Super excited. So come hang out with us tonight, 8 o'clock, live on Instagram, live on Facebook at facebook.com slash intentional academy. Hope to see you there. Hi to each other. Something.